Hello, my name is Patrick and in this video I will go through one of the workflows to create a model target from photogrammetry apps such as Polycam. You can use 3D models from APIs and apps such as Apple's Object Capture, Metascan, Polycam and others and use them to recognize and track physical objects using model targets with Fuforia Engine. I'll be using the Polycam app and an iPad with a LiDAR sensor, but you can also use the photo mode or upload your own images on their website. When you open the app, you're able to create a new capture. Once you're in the capture window, you can choose between the two different modes in the lower right corner. I will continue with lighter mode and start scanning this car engine. Scanning the environment is very easy with the app and you receive feedback on the areas that you have scanned. Make sure that you get all the sides of the physical object that you're trying to scan. The app highlights areas that haven't been scanned in blue. Let's speed up the footage. After a while, you can finish the scan. When the scan is finished, you're able to view a preview model and the camera poses highlighted in green. Below, you can choose which processing you want to use and we'll use object processing. Once the scan is done processing, we're presented with the 3D model. Within the app, we are still able to touch up some of the areas. We want to have a clean 3D model if we want to use it as a model target, so let's remove the unnecessary areas. We can use that by using the cropping feature of Polycam. Here we can choose a specific side of the cropping tool and cut off certain portions of the 3D model. Let's remove the lower part. About here should work. Also, let's remove some of the windshield, which we don't need for the recognition of the engine. This looks pretty good. When you're done, you can either locally export the file in a variety of formats. You can also upload it to the Polycam web interface, which I will do so I'm able to easily add it to the model target generator. When the uploading is finished, you can visualize it in the browser. From here, I'm able to export it as a file and afterwards generate a target through the model target generator. I'll click on export and select the OBJ file format. I'll start the download to get the files that I need. Make sure that you unzip the files afterwards and add the OBJ and texture file to the same folder before adding them to the generator. In the model target generator, we're able to create the model targets. You can download the generator in the download page of the developer portal, which you can find in the description down below. Let's create the target and add the OBJ file. Let's call the target engine. There's a lot of best practices around how to create model targets, which you can find also in the description down below. Within the model up vector section, we need to select the up vector, which seems to be already correct. Next, in the model unit section, we need to confirm the correct scale of the physical object. Within the coloring section, we normally can assign colors that improve tracking when the 3D model consists of various parts. In our case, it only consists of one part and a texture, so we can skip this step. Under model type, we have to make sure that we select 3D scan, which will improve the tracking for the model we created. Next, under motion hint, we must decide which motion is expected for the physical object. With our engine, we expect it to be stationary, so we'll choose static. Lastly, in the guide view section, we need to decide if we want to have a guide view or not. I'd like to track the engine from every side, so I will choose the advanced view. Depending on the target, we have to choose a preset option for the advanced guide view. In our case, we don't need to have a full 360 degrees view, and neither do we need a dome view. The reason being is that we'll only approach the engine from the front and not from the rear side. Let's create a custom advanced view. We need to set up the recognition ranges for the guide view. Let's point the camera to the front of the engine and lock it in place. As you can see, this sets the initial recognition ranges for us. Let's change the azimuth ranges first to be able to recognize it from both sides. 120 degrees should work. We don't need to recognize the engine from below, so we can set the elevation range from 0 to 90 degrees. Let's save these ranges. Next, we'll select Generate Advanced Database. This will train our database with artificial intelligence, so we don't need to have a specific guide view, but can detect it from any angle. We can train the target by selecting our model target and choose the expected appearance. If the textures and colors of the 3D model match the appearance of the physical object, we need to select realistic. In our case, this is the case, so let's choose that one. Check out the description down below for more information about the model target generator. Once the training is complete, we're able to export the database and import it into a new Unity project. I've already got Fuforia added to my project, so I will just add an AR camera and a model target to the scene. To make sure that the tracking works, 
you can add augmentations as children of the object. I will also add some visual effects from the VFX library, which is out of the scope of this video. You can find the library in the Unity Asset Store. So with the app build, we can detect the engine from every angle and visualize the model target on recognition and when tracking with the visual effects. Now we're able to add augmentations to this example to create an augmented reality manual or a work instructions app. I'm Patrick with Fuforia Engine and thanks for watching. You can find more information about using photogrammetry apps such as Polycam to recognize and track physical objects in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe and share your thoughts for more tech tips from Fuforia. Enjoy developing and until next time.